वेलकम एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डी एस मोन्ढे वर्किंग एज असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग एंड फूड इंजीनियरिंग के के वाघ कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी नासिक इन धीस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट एर एरोडायनामिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल प्रोड्यूस सो दिस इज द लेक्चर नंबर टेन फ्रॉम द कोर्स इंजीनियरिंग प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल प्रोड्यूस हैविंग कोर्स नंबर पी ए पी टू थ्री थ्री एंड क्रेडिट टू इन ब्रैकेट वन प्लस वन दिस कोर्स बिलोंग्स टू द थर्ड सेमिस्टर ऑफ द डिग्री प्रोग्राम बी टेक एग्रीकल्चरल इंजीनियरिंग कंटेंट इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल कवर इंट्रोडक्शन ड्रैक कोफिशेंट एंड टर्मिनल वेलोसिटी so starting with the introduction in handling and processing of agricultural products often air or water is used as a carrier for transport or for separating the desired product from the unwanted materials the pneumatic separation and canning has been in use in agricultural machinery and food processing equipment for many years use of water however as a carrier for more economical transport or less injury to such products as fruits and vegetables is a relatively new idea in agricultural industry in either case fluid flow occurs around the solids and the problem involves the action of the forces exerted by the fluid on the solids it is necessary to have the knowledge of physical properties which affects the aero and hydrodynamic behavior of agricultural products so first drag coefficient when fluid flow occurs about immense object the action of the forces involved can be illustrated by diagram such as the classic example shown in the figure so if you see the figure the pressure on the upper side of the object is less than that on the lower side is greater than the pressure p in undistributed fluid stream this result in decrease in pressure that is minus p on the upper side indicated by arrows which are drawn away from the surface and an increase of pressure that is plus p shown by arrows which are drawn towards the object so this this is the illustration given by this figure so in addition to these forces normal to the surface of the object there are shear stresses tau acting tangential to the surface in the direction of flow and resulting from frictional effects the resultant force fr may be resolved into components fd that is the drag and fl the lift the equation for calculating drag and lift have been derived by the dimensional analysis assuming the smooth object having a projected area ap moving through a fluid mass fluid of mass density rho f viscosity eta and mo modulus of elasticity capital v with a velocity v therefore the drag that is fd is equal to f1 in bracket ap into in bracket ap rho f eta e v and the lift is given by f2 in bracket ap rho f eta e v so after making dimensional analysis and employing the method of dimensional analysis the following equations have been established for drag and lift drag fd is equal to cd into ap into rho f v square by 2 and lift that is fl is equal to cl ap into rho f v square by 2 so where cd and cl are the dimensionless drag and lift coefficient of the object respectively 
in most agricultural engineering applications the moving object is usually free to assume its own random orientation for this reason the net resistance force fr can be given in terms of overall drag coefficient c shown in the next slide that is fr is equal to 1/2 c into ap into rho f v square or c is equal to twice mg by ap into rho f into v square so where fr is equal to resistance drag having unit lbs which is is equal to weight of particle at terminal velocity c is equal to overall drag coefficient it is a dimensionless parameter ap is the projected area normal to the direction of motion fits square feet rho f is the mass density of fluid having unit slugs per cubic feet which is, is equal to lb second square into feet raised to the power 4 so, and v is equal to relative velocity between may body of fluid and object that is feet per second However, in certain cases, it is desirable to resolve the resultant force into the components of frictional forces on the body surface and profile drag due to pressure distribution around the body. In laminar or low velocity flow, where variation in fluid density is small and viscous action governs the flow, profile or pressure drag is negligible. In turbulent or high velocity flow where fluid compression and not viscous action governs the flow, the frictional drag is negligible. The classic example of frictional drag is the drag force exerted on one side of a smooth flat plate aligned with the flow. An example of profile drag is the drag force on a blunt object such as a sphere. So the first one is the frictional drag. So there are two types of drag, frictional drag and the second one is the pressure drag or total integrated drag. So first frictional drag, when the wall of the body is parallel to the direction of flow, the only drag force is a wall drag. The example of frictional drag or wall drag is the flat plate parallel to the flow. So this is the equation given for frictional drag coefficient cf this is for flat plate with laminar flow cf is equal to 1.3 to 8 divided by in bracket nr raised to the power 0.5 where nr is the reynolds number so for flat plate turbulent boundary layer cf is equal to 0.455 divided by in bracket log of nr that is log of reynolds number is to the power 2.58 in these equations nr nr is the reynolds number defined by nr is equal to v d rho f by eta so where d is the effective diameter of the object such as length of a plate or diameter of a sphere and eta is the absolute viscosity, viscosity of the fluid L is second per square feet. So the equation for the transition region. So transition region is the region where laminar flow changes to turbulent flow is given by Prandtl as follows. Cf is equal to 0.455 divided by uh, natural log of log of Reynolds number raised to the power 2.58 minus 1700 by Reynolds number so it should be noted that the above equations are for frictional drag of smooth flat plates aligned with the flow if the plate or circular disc is placed normal to the flow the total drag will contain negligible frictional drag and does not change with Reynolds number so the next is the profile or pressure drag so it is nothing but the total integrated drag from pressure is called as a form drag. 
The example of pressure or form drag is fat plate perpendicular to the flow. When a blunt object such as sphere is placed in a fluid flow, the frictional drag usually but not always can be neglected because of the small surface area on which frictional effects can act. The exception is the case of flow at a very low Reynolds number where Stokes law is applicable. Stokes has proven that a Reynolds number less than unit where the inertia forces may be neglected and those of viscosity alone considered. The flow closes behind a sphere like object and the profile drag is composed primarily of frictional drag. So, for a sphere of diameter dp moving at a velocity v through a fluid of viscosity eta, Stokes law governs drag forces by fd is equal to 3 pi eta into v into dp. So, equation, equating the above equation in the following equation and taking ap to be the frontal area and equation to and equal to pi by 4 into dp square we get fd is equal to cd into ap into rho f v square by 2 the profile drag coefficient found to be cd is equal to 24 by reynolds number so thank you so in this way in this particular video lecture we discuss about the drag coefficient types of drag that is frictional drag and pressure or form drag in the next video lecture we will see the aerodynamic properties such as terminal velocity thank you